can we talk about how I felt like April simultaneously dragged and was very fast? Why is that? <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to another adventure in beautifying. My name is Amanda and today we gonna talk about what I liked in April. You know what? There's not gonna be a long intro. Let's just jump right into... Hold on. What? The joys of living at home. So there's not gonna be a long intro because y'all get the gist. Let's jump right in. I'm going to start off with a face product. I got this like the middle of the month and I've been wearing it every day. I'm sure you all have heard it. It's MAC Soft and Gentle. It's a highlighter. It's very pretty, very mineralized. It's a mineralized skin finish. I love it. I have been having trouble finding a highlighter that is soft and gentle. I set myself up. <laughs> I've been having trouble finding a highlighter that actually shows up on my skin because sometimes I feel like they are too... They're too pink? Yeah, they're like too pink in tone and my skin is already kind of pinky so it doesn't really show up but I find that this, I don't know if you can tell, but it kind of shows up relatively well. I didn't think I was going to be obsessed with this as I am but I'm so happy that I purchased it. It is an investment piece. I will say, I may or may not have bought this under the influence, uh, and when I looked at the receipt, I was like, I really hope I like this, and I do, so I don't regret buying it at all. The next thing I got is the Crown Beauty Shadow Crease Duet Brush. It is a double-ended brush. It, you get a nice fluffy crease blending brush on the end, and you get a nice pencil brush on the opposite side. I cannot express how much this brush has been useful to me. I love this pencil brush to do your bottom lash line. I love this crease brush or blending brush because I am always looking for a blending brush that's clean and normally this one is. So this is perfect for just blending everything and keeping it really clean lines simple. I have gotten a lot of use out of this brush. The next thing we got is two eyeshadow palettes, which I hauled in my last video. They are the L'Oreal Le Palette Nude 1 and 2, right? Did I do that right? I did. There have been a lot of reviews on these, and I plan on going into in-depth about what I like and what I dislike about each one of these, but to be honest, generally, I really, really like these, especially the Nude 2 because you get a lot of beautiful plum shades, which I find, like, yeah, that does, it's hard to come by in an eyeshadow palette, especially one that is this big. They are pricey, but I really do think that if you're not willing to fork up the $54 for a naked palette or the $48 for a Lorac palette, and you kind of just want, like, a palette, an affordable array of shadows, that these are going to be your best bet at the drugstore by bar none. Now we're going to go into some lip products. I bought a lot of lip products this month. I tried out both of these in my haul that you saw and I loved both of them and they are the NYX Matte Lip Cream. This shade is Prague. It's like a hot pink shade and then my next shade is San Paolo and that is more of... I don't even... I honestly don't know how to describe it. It, on my skin, it looks like kind of like a bright red with some pink undertones in it. It is honestly very interesting. I feel like it's one of those colors that looks different on everyone because I see it in pictures and it does not look like that on my skin in pictures. However, that does not mean I do not like it. I love the formula of both of these. It's so interesting because it kind of feels like you're putting frosting on your lips and it smells like you're putting frosting on your lips, which is wonderful. And I feel like it's a feeling that everyone should experience at some point in their life. In total honesty, uh, if I could have all of them, I absolutely would. My next lip product is also from MAC and I've been wearing it on my lips any day I could. So from the middle of March on, this is probably the only thing I've worn, and it is MAC Plumful. And it's this beautiful, like, just pretty, like, dark mauve color, I want to say, but it has some purple in it. 
I just really, I love it. I feel like it goes well on a lot of different skin tones. I'm wearing it on my lips today. I can't get enough of this lipstick. I will be repurchasing it when I run out, which will probably be soon. <laughs> now we're gonna go into stuff that I don't really talk about, and that is nails. I have said this before, and I will maybe say it in the future. I don't love doing my nails, especially before I was introduced to these products, I hated painting my nails. I felt like it took forever to do, and I would get it really nice and perfect, and then two hours later, something would chip or it would fold, and I'd have to redo it, and it became this huge process. And let's face it, guys, we all have our own lives, and I can't be bothered with doing my nails throughout the day. It's just very time-consuming, and I don't find it fun, so I don't want to do it. But these next two products that I'm going to mention have changed the, my outlook on painting your nails. The first thing I want to talk about is the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Nail Polish. I bought this kind of on a whim. I wanted something white, but like a little bit off-white because I am very pale and I feel like white looks really harsh up against my skin. So this color is the shade 430 Creme de la Creme. It's this pretty light pink shade. Um, it's so light that it's almost white. But my favorite part about this nail polish is that it will last you, I mean it lasted me a full five days before I had to like reapply and take it off. Notice, And there were like noticeable chips. Which is amazing to me because like I said they normally, I. My nails usually last about two hours. So I was incredibly impressed with how well this stayed on. I mean, if it stayed on for two days, I would be over the moon. But five, I was like, yeah, this is exactly what I've been looking for. I mean, I went out and bought two more colors in this. I'm wearing both of them on my nails today. I, this will be my favorite nail polish till the end of time, until I find something better. But this is great. Next product that has totally changed the way I paint my nails is the Seshvi Dry Fast Top Coat. With this stuff, your nails are very shiny. It dries so quickly, it's insane. These two together, match made in heaven. I know this stuff does come, like, it suggests to use their top coat. I didn't do it. You don't have to do it either. But, I mean, if y'all give it a try and you like their top coat as well, let me know in the comments down below. The next two products that I'm going to talk about are skincare related. This is the Pure Lease Gentle Sewing Milk Cleanser and Makeup Remover. This is legit. This is very nice. It is a milky consistency for sure. It removes your makeup and cleanses your skin really well. I had no weird reaction to it. I feel like it could be good for both oily skin as well as dry skin and anywhere in between. This stuff rocks. I loved it. And it took off all of my eye makeup, which is impressive in and of itself. March's Ipsy bag was pretty legit, I will say. This next thing is something that I hauled in my last video and talked about and said that I loved and I've been using it multiple times this month and the, my opinion is still the same. It is the Freeman's Beauty Clay Mask in Chocolate Strawberry. It smells incredible and your skin feels like a baby's butt afterwards. It's very supple and smooth and you wake up the next day and it stays the same. It's just a really lovely way to treat yourself on like a Wednesday night. I recommend it to everyone. Also it's super budget friendly. I think I got this for like a little over three dollars and you get a ton of product. These next two products are not beauty related whatsoever, but I felt like sharing them with you. This is a bag that I got, and it's a nice black faux leather backpack style bag from Target. I believe this was $40, which I felt like was exact my max amount that I'm gonna spend on any bag, and I feel like it's totally worth it because I mean, this goes with everything. I can wear this every day. It's seasonally appropriate all the time. It's just a classic. So you get these really killer straps that are adjustable, which is always nice. And then when you open the front flap, it's a, oh, when you open the front flap, it is a drawstring type bag. You open it up, 
you have room for everything. I mean, this bag is kind of like the Mary Poppins backpack bag. It fits everything. I mean, I have a book in here. I have an umbrella. I have snacks. Oh, I should eat these. Sorry, guys. <laughs> There's a pocket, like a zipper pocket in there if you want to, like, keep. It's usually where I keep, spoiler alert, feminine products. But anyway, <laughs> um, and then on the sides you have these two side zippers, which are pretty cool, and that's where um, I keep usually my wallet and phone because it's a little bit more easy access. You don't have to like open the full bag to do it. You have one on this side as well. I got it off Target.com. It has been my lifeline this month. I bring it into New York with me. I bring it around town. I just feel like it's a classic piece. I'm. So I feel very adulty carrying it. Um, I love it. So definitely, definitely, definitely recommend that. And last, but certainly not least, we have my snack favorite for the month, and it is Skinny Pop Popcorn. Yes, this is an empty bag because I've been eating it like a fiend. If you don't know this about me, popcorn is my favorite snack, and... I have been on the search, on the lookout for a popcorn that is low in calorie but doesn't taste like texture, you know? Because I find that a lot of healthy popcorns or popcorns that don't have additives tend to be a little bit flavorless. And even when you add salt to it, it doesn't, it just tastes terrible. It just, it's not my thing. It doesn't remind you of like movie popcorn, nothing. This stuff is. It feels like you're eating movie style popcorn. I mean, and I, I worked at a movie theater for four years. I ate a lot of popcorn. And this is incredibly reminiscent of it. And it only has three ingredients. You got popcorn, sunflower oil, and salt. I don't know how they do it, but they've done it. This is my third bag in this month. I love this stuff. <laughs> All right, guys, that is everything I loved in the month of April. If you like this video and want to see other videos like it, click that like button down below and subscribe to this channel. It lets me know that I'm doing a decent, wonderful, kind of cool job, and I'm putting out content that you want to see. If you want to follow me on any social media sites, all of the ones that are relevant are, <laughs> to me at least, are listed in the down bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. My name's Amanda and I went shopping. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I've purchased from the drugstore slash Ulta, which is kind of a drugstore. Y'all get the drill. This is a haul. Let's dive right in.